Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C38 license, also known as the refrigeration contractor license. So what is a refrigeration contractor? A refrigeration contractor constructs, fabricates, erects, installs, maintains, services, and repairs refrigerators, refrigerated rooms, and insulated refrigerated spaces. Temperature insulation, air conditioning units, ducts, blowers, registers, humidity, and thermostatic controls for the control of air, liquid, and or gas temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. And that definition is straight from the CSLB website, and that's the Contractor State License Board. So essentially, the C38 license is a requirement for anybody that's looking to bid on refrigeration jobs where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now, how long does it take to get the C38 license? Typically, you're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. Now, in some cases, this can be shorter than 90 days. In some cases, it can take a lot longer than that. Um, generally, you know, what time of year you send the application, whether or not you have a criminal history, or whether or not your application is put up for further review, these are all different factors that can add to that 90, 90 days or, in some cases, make it shorter. But generally, you're looking at about a six to eight week application processing time, and then another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. So what are the basic requirements for a refrigeration contractor license? You've got to be at least 18 years old. You've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID. You've got to have a social security or ITIN number. And you cannot be on probation or parole at the time of sending the application. Now, the experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey-level experience within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody who can sign off on that experience. And you've got to be able to document your experience if the CSLB asks you to submit documentation of your experience working with refrigerators. So who can sign off on your experience? You could have a general contractor. You could use a C38 refrigeration license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor. You could even use a fellow journeyman or fellow employee at a company that you work with. Now, this has to be within the last 10 years. You can't use anybody that, worked, that you worked with uh, before 10 years ago. And it can also be a business associate in some cases. So when this person signs your application and verifies that you have your experience, uh, your qualifying individual is also going to need to provide a brief but detailed description of your knowledge and skill set. Now, the way this description is written is going to be really critical to whether or not your application is accepted or not. So, for example, you know, Ed is a great guy and he has fixed many refrigerators is not going to be enough. The CSLB is going to want to see a description that goes into more detail about what you know how to do. So they're going to want to see something that sounds like Ed has installed walk-in coolers, motors, thermostats, and fans. He's maintained motors, freezers, fans, electrical wiring, done troubleshooting for various types of refrigeration systems. Now, don't take that word for word, but that's generally the idea you know that, that you're going for. You want to get, uh, you want your qualifying individual to describe what you know how to do. For more information on this, you can check out our website. We go into great detail about how to fill out the application. So criminal history. Now, having a criminal record does not disqualify you from getting a contractor license, but everybody has to do live scan fingerprinting. So your best bet is if you do have a criminal record, just be 100% honest on the application. Um, you know, typically the state is most concerned with uh, fraud, forgery, and embezzlement. Those are, those are the three main red flags for the CSLB, but you've got to be prepared to submit any documentation that the CSLB asks of you if you do have a criminal record. Submit all court documents. So what's on the exam? So there's two parts. There's going to be 115 questions covering contractor law. There'll be another 115 questions covering refrigeration. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice test, and it's done on site on a computer at a CSLB testing facility. And you can bring a translator if you need to. So the C38 license exam covers planning and estimation. There's going to be 31% of the test covering installation of refrigeration systems. 18% of the test covers repair of refrigeration systems. 19% of the test covers maintenance of refrigeration systems. 
and 14% covers safety. So for a more in-depth look on the test, you can also check out our, our full blog post covering the C38 license where we, we go into great detail on what exactly you need to know for the exam, including the law concepts. So after you pass your test, you'll get your results right there on the spot. Uh, it's done on a computer, so you'll know uh, immediately whether you pass or fail. You could typically take the, a retake uh, if you do, don't pass. Uh, usually within about three weeks, you can go and retake the exam. Now, after you pass, you're going to pay your license activation fee, and then you're going to provide what's called a contractor bond number. Now, I've got a separate video that you'll see at the end uh, of this video that goes into the most up-to-date costs for your contractor license, and then also covering what is a bond, because that's uh, it's a lot more information than we can kind of cover in this video. And then typically you get your contractor license in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, what are the costs? So there's a state application fee that you've got to pay. There's a license activation fee that you're going to pay, and then a renewal fee every two years. You've got to pay for fingerprinting. And then you've got to provide what's called a contractor bond fee. Now, again, there'll be a separate video that you'll see at the end um, that'll go over the most up-to-date costs for a contractor license. So in conclusion, you know, getting your C38 refrigeration license can be a very smooth process. You've just got to make sure that you have the correct information. You want to make sure your application is filled out correctly. And then obviously you want to pass the test the first time. Um, you know, we've got a ton of resources uh, at digitalconstructive.com that, that are really going to help you uh, get all of this taken care of, pass the first time, and get your refrigeration license as quickly as possible. Just want to thank you for watching. For any additional information, check out our, our other videos. Uh, if you found this one helpful, click the like button, subscribe to our channel. If you have a question or there's a video that you want to see us make, drop it in the comments uh, and we'll make sure we get that taken care of for you. And again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.